Hello Reefers, I'm Jeremy Wade and I am your Canadian Reef Master. This holiday season I took a trip to the Vancouver Aquarium. I even decided to buy a season pass so I could come back multiple times throughout the year. In this video we'll have a look at my first trip to the aquarium this season. The Vancouver Aquarium has a few mammals on display. These are animals that can't live in the wild because they are unable to survive without human intervention. The otters are always happy playing and these penguins are really fun to see. They are from South Africa. I love seeing marine animals, however I really like seeing what's under the sea. This is why I come to the Vancouver Aquarium. Here we enter the aquarium and start with some amazing jellyfish displays. I don't really take note of which types they are. I encourage you to go to the aquarium yourself and check out which ones they have on display. These are the Pacific Northwest displays. This is the water that I am accustomed to as I grew up in British Columbia, Canada. This tank is a beautiful giant kelp display with many bat starfish that give a burst of color. These kelp beds are an important part of the British Columbia ecosystem and hold a great diversity of life. The giant kelp forests of the Pacific Northwest are analogous to that of the rainforest or coral reef of the tropics. They have a vast diversity of life and act as a nursery for many species of fish. One of my favorite creatures to see at the Vancouver Aquarium is the giant sturgeon fish that they have on display. These creatures date back to the Jurassic Epoch, over 2 million years ago, and grow to many meters in length. They are true dinosaurs and are always amazing to see. The Pacific Northwest has some of the most beautiful and vibrant sea anemones that I have ever seen in both temperate and tropical waters. The Vancouver Aquarium offers the visitor a chance to see many interesting creatures from deep beneath the sea such as this basket starfish or maybe even this funny squat lobster. Colonial anemones are often very interesting and colorful and often rival many of the colors of the corals in the tropical reef. The waters around BC are also home to the giant North Pacific octopus. This is a magnificent creature and is very intelligent and often span up to 25 feet across. I have caught many of these octopus on fishing trips and they're always amazing to see. As I exit the North Pacific exhibit, I enter the exhibit in which I came to the Vancouver Aquarium to see. Here is one of their tropical display tanks. It has many amazing fish in it, such as this giant trigger or the harlequin tusk, which I believe to be an Indonesian harlequin tusk due to the color of its tail and the fact that its teeth were white. Another one of my favorite tanks is this sun coral display with the giant clownfish as well as a beautiful array of antheas. One of my favorite fish in the aquarium is the seagrass eel. These fish are very interesting. They bury under the sand and are ambush predators that grab different prey as it passes by in the current. Many of these together make it look like there's seagrass had an amazing array of different damselfish, filefish, chorus, and then of course the magnificent sea anemone here. This is their main coral display. 
It had an amazing diversity of different SPS corals, as well as some LPS. Of course, there's a Fimbrophilia, which is formerly a Euphelia, a Montipora, a beautiful large red chalice centrally in the tank, some Goniporas, as well as some other Montiporas. At the top, we some see some different bird's nests, some nice Joker Acropora, as well as Pocillopora. There's some beautiful wrasses in this tank. There's a male as well as a harem of female. The male has a beautiful mating display as it zips around the tank as you see here. I was quite amazed at the diversity of coral that the Vancouver Aquarium had this visit. The last time I visited the aquarium, I wasn't too impressed with their saltwater coral display or their saltwater fish in general. However, saying this, I'd love for them to make one of their giant tanks into a reef tank. One of the display tanks that has been here for many years and I have seen since a child is the sea anemone tank with the rose bubble tip anemones and these ancient clownfish. I found this beautiful little porcelain crab on the side of the tank. I even found a beautiful display of Aptasia. I have nightmares over getting these in my aquarium. I had many times where my tank had been plagued with them over the years. Here is another one of their fish line displays with a yellow tang, the beautiful trigger fish, and a large orange shoulder tang that glides around the tank. This is a really fun display tank. It is also home to the beautiful Japanese moray eel. This I believe to be a female as the horns aren't too elaborate. And with every reef you need a mangrove rainforest. This mangrove rainforest has the upside down jellyfish which are really cool as well as some of the different uh, anemones that are non-photosynthetic such as this beautiful tube anemone that fluoresces under blue light. The Amazon rainforest is amazingly vast and diverse. There are many cool different species of fish and creatures in it. The discus are one of the favorite fish among tropical aquarists that strive to have some very unique fish from the Amazon rainforest. And one of the best displays in the Vancouver Aquarium, although I say this often, is the uh, tropical Amazon Rainforest Basin Aquarium that has monster fish in it, everything from Paku Silver Dollars and this Arapaima. This particular Arapaima was over six feet long and it was a true beast of a fish. This is an absolutely striking display of Australian rainbow fish in all variants of color. And one of the tears of the Amazon, the piranha. However, when I've kept these fish, they've been kind of lazy. Maybe it's because I feed them too regularly and they just expect food. Here I'm entering the Vancouver's uh, Tropical Rainforest Exhibit. I love to come in here as there's many different cool birds, some different reptiles, as well as their main display, which is one of my favorite creatures on display here, is the sloth.
This exhibit happens to have both a female and male sloth. I get to see the female sloth moving to her home for the night. It is not often that a visitor gets to see them moving. They are usually up in the canopy sleeping. And of course, somebody got jealous, I think, and wanted to be the center of attention. Or maybe I just was in his way and he wanted to get to his uh, evening dinner. Here's a monkey. Everybody loves a monkey. And this is the largest saltwater uh, tropical display at the aquarium. It is home to a black tip reef sharks, uh, some giant stingrays, as well as the most uh, powder blue tanks I have ever seen in one place. This aquarium had some true beasts in it. I was very surprised that this trip, I actually got to see the magnificent sea turtle that they have. It is absolutely beautiful and swims around the tank so gracefully. It is important that people come to these exhibits. They captivate young people and allow for conservation of many species as it brings awareness of what is out beyond our backyards. As I have never been anywhere tropical, to see this magnificent creature, it was truly spectacular. I had a magnificent time at the Vancouver Aquarium with my friend. I hope you all enjoyed this video as I toured the Vancouver Aquarium. Make sure to check out my other videos and I hope you all have a great week. Enjoy your reef and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.